Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Court Farms. So today we've got quite a big job to do. We've got to do a silage harvest and it is in field number 20. We actually went to it in the previous episode. It is near WM Evans Grain Store and it is ripe. It's ready to be harvested um, but we've only got the worker which will be on auto combine and of course us who will be towing at the IT runner pack. We're going to have the the trailer attachment for the silage today, obviously. So we have got the case tractor warming up. We'll get it attached and then we'll head down to field number 20, make a good start, hopefully finish it today as well. Although it is a fairly decent sized field, I don't think we'll have to drag it over two episodes. Should be able to get it done. Obviously I'll edit quite a bit of it out. Um, but yeah, I think we can get it done today. Because the sooner we get it done, the sooner we can get it fermenting, and then the sooner we make lots of money. And then we'll be able to buy some really, really decent tractors. Right, so that is that attached. Just pull that on. And yeah, the reason why I went for this, the IT runner, is because of two reasons. One, that I never really use it that much, and it's a, it's a good DLC. And the other one is because you can change the attachment, which is actually really handy and very cost effective. So that is why we're using that today. Um, as for the New Holland Forage Harvester, I was kind of debating whether to download a different one, a mod, but then... I know, I know that this one works well, so I just went for this. I know that's not very daring, but it can get quite frustrating if you have an annoying problem with a mod. So these these ones are very well made, and they're obviously tested. We used them before, fully working, and they've got good sounds. So that is why we're going for the New Holland today. I could have gone for the Chrome. It's just I think I probably use that more than I do the New Holland. Also, there is the Rostel Mash, but yeah, we um, we probably need something a bit bigger than that. It's a bit small. Now, the thing is, the harvester is much louder than the tractor. So, I'm going to have to keep changing the game sound, the in-game sound, because when I'm in this one, it'll be too loud, and then if I go into the tractor, it'll be too quiet. So the game volume I have when I'm driving the harvester is 20% and then when I'm driving the tractor I put it up to 30%. But obviously when we're going to be sticking around the harvester we don't really want to be putting it back up to 30 because it's still really loud. So it is quite tricky to maintain the right sound because it can sometimes be overpowering and then you can't hear me at all. Which is probably a good thing but yeah. It's a bit annoying when you, you make the video and then you play it back and you realise that no one can actually hear you. So <laughs> I try and keep it as low as possible. And we'll go through this gate. Should be able to get through just the one. I think that is a good sized trailer for the tractor. So there is, if I can remember rightly, two silage pits over at the dairy. I will have to double check before I start, but if there is, then that will be great because it means we won't be, we won't be travelling as far for each load. It will really speed up the process because obviously we need to stop the harvester when we are not actually filling it up. There is three pits, wow! So that is brilliant. We will head down to field 20, get this set up, and get cracking. As for the multi-fruit, I did mention that we are going to be putting some different crops in. Can't remember exactly if Court Farms is multi-fruit enabled, um, but if it is, we'll try and put sunflowers or something in. We did oats on Sandy Bay, so I don't want to repeat myself. Um, if it isn't, if it is not enabled for 
multi-fruit then we will just put something standard in and we'll have to check it might show you on here if we go on to uh, nope I don't think it does so I don't know it might be multi-fruit it might not be you can also check on here um, no I don't think it is actually looking at that so it's not too much of a problem We'll just have to put a more standard crop in. So this is our field on the left. Um, it is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. We'll just have to give it a go see how much we can get done today so yeah that tractor is not going to make it I'll just get it into the field manually so it is in the field at least I'll just unfold this and we will put the, the pipe up um, yeah it might be easiest if I just take a bit out here it is wasteful but just need a bit more space. Okay. So the tractor is on follow me. Uh, we want to have it to the right of the harvester. Not quite sure how much buy yet. We'll just have to give it a go. And yes, I did say that I was going to be driving the tractor. But not for the first headland, just because it needs to sort itself out. Yep, that is not right. I'll try that. It's looking better, but still, it's not it's not right because it's not all going in the trailer. So this time, if I put an even bigger offset on and probably make it go behind like that, that would probably work a lot better. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is just drive around probably twice or until the trailer is full and then obviously we keep tipping it but once we have pretty much sorted out a big enough headland for this not to crash when it's on a worker I'll transfer to the tractor and then basically we'll just be continually going back and forth to the yard tipping lots of this chaff. Also a very good thing is the capacity of that trailer is very big that, that capacity of that um, which is surprising actually because it, physically it doesn't look much bigger than the others but it is so it's handy I don't know if you go on this incline with that trailer I don't know there are a few trees it can crash into but once we've gone around the first time everything else will be sorted out I didn't realise this field was so uneven I thought it was fairly flat but nope it is actually quite an interesting gradient which it's got most of it in the middle is flat but then at the edges it's really steep I think up here, this is the river, which is the same river as what is near to the main yard when we're doing that hay baling. It cuts all the way through here. And yeah, it goes into there. Or, or actually, no, that is quite pooey. That has got quite a lot of sludge in it. Yeah, I'd imagine that smells quite a bit. It's like it's waste water. Not the most attractive water course ever. That is 71% in the trailer. 
we've almost done the first lap so it shouldn't be too far past here until we have to empty and that really does show the size of the field um, it isn't huge but it is, it is uh, a fairly decent size I also tried the worker and it just didn't want to do it so I don't know what's going on there uh, we'll have to retry that it's probably because we hadn't gone fully round the first time it just got a bit confused so here we go this is the first load just heading back now probably it's going to go into the first silage pit nearest to the road really lucky that it's not too far to go each time because most of the time would be wasted is traveling on the road as we have no other helpers the harvester said well the inspector mod said that this was on 100% but I think it was over reading in fact it still says 100% but the trailer itself says 99 not really a problem it's just it's not technically full Full enough. So here is the dairy. We'll keep the gates open. And yeah, the first one is the one it's going to go into. back to the field for the next load in case you're wondering we have actually just reached 20 hours on this save game on the map so yeah if you're wondering then that is how long we've been doing it for I think Cobra Park Farm was my biggest one ever and I reached very close to 100 hours I think certainly wasn't far off so back into the harvester I've just tried again for some very strange reason the worker really doesn't want to work so that's fine because we can still use the follow me it just means we'll be driving the harvester in fact we'll be driving both because we'll be taking the tracks back to the yard as well Basically, I have gone straight up there just to cut the corner off, and now it should make it much easier. So yes, last time, last episode, I did actually ask if you wanted me to do silaging with the forage harvester or corn with the combine harvester. Most of you did say silage, so that is why I've gone for it. But I still want to do some corn at some point on one of the maps which we're doing. It might even be on the next multiplayer map. And that brings me on to the next topic, which is the next multiplayer map for the server. And um, yes, it has now been decided what it's going to be. And it was quite astonishing, actually, the response which one of them had. Yes, anyway, the winner of the next multiplayer map is Woodside Farm. So, 
We'll be transferring that in the next week or two and I shall begin the next multiplayer series which will be on Woodside Farm. I have been looking forward to it. I was secretly hoping that, that would win although I didn't really mind which one won. If Court Farms had won then we would have finished the single player which we're doing now. So we will be continuing this series for, for a little while longer. Sandy Bay will be staying as it is for many months. Um, that is just set in stone, that, that map it is just... I could never stop, I don't think. I think I'll find it hard to stop doing that map. I find it hard to stop doing any map, but I have to move away from them eventually to cover newer maps. So, yeah, um, it is quite hard to do that. But anyway, yep, yeah, we shall be beginning Woodside very soon. This trailer is almost full. Heading back for the next load. Don't know if we'll get to the end. It's showing 100%, but it did underread before, so we'll keep going. There we go. We'll leave the engine running. And, yep, that time it is full. So that is another big load, 48,000 litres, for the silage pit. So if we, if we had had a full load last time, we wouldn't be far off 100,000 litres. It's probably around 95,000 with this one in. Obviously it will need to be compacted. We should be able to do that afterwards. But if it gets too full, then we'll go and get the New Holland tractor, or the Massey Ferguson tractor, and we will just get course play working on it, clamping it down. Anyway, next load. So here we are, back in the field. We'll do some off screen, because obviously we're doing the same thing every time. So the pylon is the next obstacle. In fact, I think it is the only obstacle. So I might just go around the right hand side of it this time and go around the left hand side of it next time. Seems to work. Yeah, the crops do seem fairly close to the pylon. Be quite careful. But the trailer's still 57% full, so it's still got a long way to go. And we are progressing quite nicely. That's another load done, so we're going to tip this as well. We're certainly getting through it. We're going to have a lot of money here. You might as well just be carrying like five pound notes around in a trailer because it's a similar thing, it's worth so much. So back at the field again. This time we're going to go around the left side of the pylon. I'm not going to record going to the farm every time because it's very similar. But I would say we were over 50% through the field. I would say. Um, yeah, I think so. The 
the tractor is the biggest problem here actually. So with a bit of luck this will sort the issue. It's going to have to drive through the crop a bit though. And then we'll set it back again. And as we have split it quite nicely now in the field, what we'll do is we'll finish this section, we'll go back to the yard, we'll park up, and then tomorrow we'll get another tractor, we'll set it up on course plate to start clamping the pit, and then of course we'll finish that side of the field. It has taken longer than I initially expected, but yep, it is worth it, definitely worth doing. And it should be perfect fit really because the trailer is about half full should get it about three quarters full before we have to go back to the farm so should all work out very well Just hoping the tractor will be able to get around there. Not a problem. And that, with the exception of a few bits missed, is over half the field completed. We'll leave the harvester in the field today. Of course we'll turn it off. No idea what the pipe's doing. Crazy thing. There we go. It has sorted itself out. So the last thing to do is just to take the tractor back to the yard and tip that final load of today. It certainly cost enough having a worker. We are once again in debt, but that will be short-lived. It's a horse. Just one horse. Just one happy horse. get this tipped and then we'll check and see how much we've actually done today. I'm hoping it's going to be quite impressive. Okay so as you see the pit is 59% full. Seven, no, 178,735 litres. That is, to put it simply, a fortune. So anyway, with that good news, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And please do join me again tomorrow when we finish things off. Bye for now.